Hi everyone, I'm Wanda Kay, and I'd like to talk with you about something that everyone seems to be a little bit scared of. Public speaking. Oh my goodness, what are you going to say? All eyes are on you, and your brain just turned to jello. What are you going to do? Well, one of the nicest things that you can do for yourself beforehand is go ahead and have a certain way in a certain order that you want to present things in. The first thing you want to have is someone who's going to introduce the speaker. Now, whether that's you or someone else, the key to having a good introduction is having someone who knows how to edify another. In other words, we don't want someone who's going to tell you about themselves. We don't need you to tell us about your story or your experience yet. This isn't the time for that. Instead, a good introduction includes who am I, why am I here, and the speaker who's coming and why you really need to pay close attention. Here's their credentials. You don't want to miss this. That's pretty much how it goes. So it might look something like this. Hi everyone, my name is Wanda Kay and I'm so excited that you're here tonight because we are in for a treat. Tonight's speaker is an amazing individual who loves his family, loves his children, and has lived out an amazing life dedicated to helping other people achieve the success that he's achieved with his seven-figure-a-year income. He has a history of helping people do exactly what he's done, so I know at this point we all need to know what he knows. So pull out your paper and pencil, be ready to take notes, Stick your phone on mute so we don't have any interruptions because you don't want to miss a minute of what's coming. I, I'd love to introduce to you my friend, my mentor, my coach, Robert Hollis. Yay! And everybody claps and he comes to the front of the room. You want to have somebody there who can do that for you. Maybe you don't have quite the same credentials as Robert Hollis, but you have some credentials. That's why you're there speaking. Whether it's a business meeting and you have come to deliver the annual report for whatever it is, someone needs to be able to introduce you and say, this is why this person is here delivering this report. They've worked really hard to bring us these figures and this summary. I hope all of you will listen closely. That is edifying. That is letting that person know it's okay. You, you start now. And the brilliance of this is that now when the speaker comes to the front of the room, all the speaker has to do is be relatable. You know, we all want to know that where you started. We all want to know where you began. It's great, you know, having that introduction, that tells everybody where you are now. Now people want to know, well, can I relate to that? Is there any hope for me? Can I ever achieve what you've achieved? Can I ever get there? And the way that happens is by building rapport and being relatable and saying what we like to call these me too statements. You all started somewhere. You've all felt fear, confusion, wondered if you were adequate or up to the task. You've all experienced those things. You've all had those times when there was more month at the end of the money, so to speak. Those little things that are so relatable that people can say, yeah, I know exactly what that's like. I was there to share those tidbits when you first start out speaking so that people know where you're coming from and you're relatable. And once people can relate to you, they feel like they know you, they can trust you a little more, and then they can accept what's, what's coming next, whatever your uh, information is that you need to be presenting. So these are just small little tips, but I thought I'd share them with you, and I hope they will help you as you move forward. I hope that this video has brought you value and that you will like, comment, and share it with your friends. Take care, and I'll look forward to talking with you again soon. Bye-bye.